can expect tonight leading into tomorrow morning. More of the same, but you said the good news was no more rain falling. Right, the precipitation is gone, but it will likely refreeze out there. And I mentioned this yesterday. We just had to get over the hump of Monday. Right. We've got a great week ahead. We've got some warm temperatures and some sunshine, a whole lot warmer than what we saw out there today. And this is a view over North Wilkesboro. You see the wet streets, which were icy earlier. Temperatures managing to make it above freezing, but they'll be on their way down here shortly. The skies will be clearing out. We'll likely have some fog around as well. Our temperature at 29 out there in the triad this morning. We had temperatures that were close to 30 degrees and even a lot lower than that in spots with 20 in Reedsville, 22 in Danville, 23 this morning in Mount Area and North Wilkesboro. So when that rain moved in, it was definitely freezing rain across the area. So not only on the roads, the streets, that was a problem, but also even that light glaze out there on the trees, which we've seen now not as much of an issue because we've transitioned to rain. And then as we talked about, that rain is edging to the east. So we'll look for that precipitation to end here in the next couple of hours. Our temperatures right now are in the mid 30s, so we're at 38 in Winston Salem, 36 in Greensboro, and 35 in High Point as well as Danbury, 36 Mount Airy, 37 Pilot Mountain, Hayes at 36 into the mountains. We're also in the upper 30s. Another coastal low, yep, that is moving north and east away from us. We're on the back side of it and just cold enough for a little wintry weather. So this rain again moving away by tomorrow morning. It's not precipitation coming down, but it's what's out there. Wet roads that potentially could have icy spots on them, patches of black ice. Temperatures in the upper 20s tomorrow morning, so be on the lookout for slick spots. Our travel concerns overnight. Also, there's the possibility of freezing fog out there, and anytime we get fog, that's moisture in the air. It's suspended in the air, and it can freeze on contact with anything, including bridges and overpasses. So we just want you to use extreme caution if you do have to be out early tomorrow. Temperatures will be warming, and in fact, we'll look for them to be close to 50 by tomorrow afternoon. There's the cloud cover early tomorrow. Tomorrow it thins out though when we bring in some sunshine. The temperatures get above freezing in the mountains, the foothills, as well as the triad. So here's your 12 hour forecast. We'll take you up to about 52 by late afternoon. A northwest wind at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Slippery, of course, in the morning. Temperatures should get above freezing, I would say around 10 a.m., if not sooner. For the foothills, we're going to stay below freezing for several hours in the morning, but then transitioning and warming up to about 50 degrees by late afternoon. And in our mountain, Mountain towns will have some sunshine tomorrow too. It's a slower climb, likely not going to be above freezing until close to lunchtime with a high of 42 tomorrow afternoon. Here's where we're headed though with high temperatures. They are on their way up into the upper 50s, even 60 possible on Saturday. You see those temperatures crashing on Sunday. We are going to get another little blast of cold air. It's mild Friday into Saturday. You notice that, but then more Canadian air is going to drop in. So the question is going to be, we've got a storm system that's going to be heading our way in the way of a front. And when that front arrives Saturday into Sunday, there is some question as to whether or not we'll get a coastal low and more precipitation thrown our way. Right now it is definitely colder and there's a chance for at least something. Could be rain, could be snow. We'll be watching that closely for you. All right, thank you so much, Laney. A live look at I-85 at Belmont Road. This